I thought people would have learned by now. You can't keep a good man down. He's beaten 756 charges, manga, own conspirators, penis paintings, Julius Malema. The one and only prince from Kanta remains undefeated. Can you believe it, South Africa? Undefeated. Hi! Now, people think that a report about a tuck shop and some astroturf is going to cause sleepless nights for our president. No, 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 no. Our president does not lose sleep for nobody. No one. You see how relaxed this man is. The whole country is queuing to ask him questions about Uganda. They want to know about the Gupta gate. They want to know what color socks he's wearing. But ah, he's fine, man. Very relaxed. Tell them, Mr. President. No. The president is neither directly nor indirectly involved in the authorization of civilian aircraft landing at air buses like AFB Waterkloof. Yeah, people learn all the time. Huh? Does my president look like a customs official? Hey, sorry, Baba. Is it, is it business or pleasure? Oh, a wedding in sunset. <laughs> it's going to be nice there. It's going to be very nice. His stamp. Tack. People keep wanting to find out who is this number one. When asked to identify this number one, the ever slippery Zoom Zoom had this to say. I do not know this number one. I do not know this number one. You see how humble the president is, relinquishing his title of Numara Uno, just J. Eh? I'm not number one. He's just a normal person. I'm just a soul whose intentions are good, oh Lord. Oh, okay, never mind. Maybe our president leads a double life like Superman, you know? Sometimes he's number one, sometimes it's just Jacob. Hmm? Think about it. Have you ever seen Jacob and number one at the same place? Exactly. Exactly. Look up in the sky. It's a bed. It's a plane. No, it's a Mshulosi man. It doesn't matter how many shots they take at him. He is truly our man of steel. After all those security upgrades, I didn't expect anything less than a bulletproof president. Everyone is jumping on this bandwagon of blaming Jacob for everything. Hmm? For example, Mera accused Tani Makubel. Blame Jacob. I mean, really. I mean, really. The state president is involved in this matter. The court received an SMS like this. I would like us to talk about the ANC's latest decline to anarchy. Himna, you just killed your husband. Now you are blaming the president. The rent plummets, blame the president. A, a double park, a private jet in a national key point, blame the president. Hmm? Paris loses in the Champions League final, blame the president. But what these people don't realize is that our president is non-stick. Better than Teflon, Baba. Some people don't learn that nothing sticks on Jacob. Like, for instance, this lady here. What has happened under the National Key Points Act is the ANC government, and pr prior to that, the National Party government, has simply been able to classify anything at once. Under the ANC, it's been used as a way to cover up government expenditure, to say, you know, President Zuma, it's okay to spend 200 million rand on his house because it is a national key point. So what we want is a limited list, a closed list of criteria for how you can classify a national key point. To which the ANC replied, no, no. This woman reminds me of the head prefect. You, you know the ones who told you to tuck in your shirt at the tuck shop? But our president has his own tuck shop. In fact, he has his own lindio to defend him against Tuli Matonsele. You guys are playing. Our president is organized. She herself has said President Jacob Zuma is the president of the country and president of the African National Congress. In the interview that she had with him, he said he absolutely had no problem with, the, with, with her doing her job. The African National Congress has not at any point stopped her from doing her work. By the way, it is the very government that, had, that made sure that there is a public protector. Why are you making this about Tulima Donzel? We all want to know about Nganda. Leave Tuli alone. It looks like you guys don't even want to talk about the real issues. You guys are always diverting, always diverting. News that moves. ENCA.com.